do a scary scarecrow. It's my favorite. I mean, who doesn't want their, you know, beautiful woman in a bikini at all times? Montage. What are you, oh my God, you scared the shit out of me. Like, if you're into spicy citrus habanero, get an... Very smooth. Ooh, and then it just... It's a hits. card? Yeah. All right, so this little place is pretty much frippin' off. It's funny how the thing you've always wanted can suddenly become the thing you have to let go of. It's a strange and scary feeling, letting go of one dream while reaching for another. We thought our boat was going to be our forever home, a place where we could chase the horizon and let the sea be our guide. Dreams evolved, and so did ours. I love the snow, man. It wasn't supposed to snow today, but it's snowing. In other words, it's cold. Yeah, what's keeping you warm? Oh, my new, uh, you know, road life hoodie. Usually we can see down that road very clearly, but obviously not right now. When's the last time you've been in the snow? Oh, I don't even know. Have we been in the snow together? Well, if you consider Greece's hailstorm, that's the closest <laughs> I think we've been. Oh yeah, man. Look at this, film the, look at all that shit. Wow. I was in New York and I could not find a bathroom in downtown New York. <laughs> I was mad and cold. I think I stepped in pee. This is much better. Log cabin, cozy vibes. My toes can only handle so much. I gotta go back inside. Oh, I'm gonna ask you for a cute shot, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> We've been trapped inside the last couple days, so we figured we'd get out and go do the scarecrow walk that they're having down here in Sholo. I believe it's the Sholo Meadow. The scarecrow walk is like, yeah, it's probably a half a mile long. Which one's your favorite one so far? Uh, oh, I don't even said the name of it. Crow Keeper? Yeah, the really scary one yeah. so far. If there's one scarier, then that'll be the winner. But right now, that's a placeholder. Yeah. I like the uh, little rooster chicken yeah. one. Uh, it looked like there was a lot of little stuff inlaid on it. It was, it was pretty. Would you do a scary scarecrow for the scarecrow walk? Would you do a cute one? Mm -hmm. One that's twisted? I would do a really scary one. Yeah? But... Like guts hanging out. And... But it is very tempting because some of them are very beautiful and pretty. But... I just got a lot of spooky in my heart. Hmm. I knew you would do. You'd probably do something of a movie reference. First or anything. Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. Something. That'd be pretty awesome. Looks like a lot of these are sponsored by local businesses and stuff like that. That's cool. Katie keeps trying to tell me that that's a spacecraft right there. It's my favorite. Yeah? Yeah, I'm calling this one as my winner. Okay. The little dog add-in and the big giant sized head. I'm pretty sure that's Roy right there, isn't it? <laughs> I like this. This is my favorite one so far. <laughs> There's three or four that are really good. All right. So did everybody get enough information that you now know your winners? Yeah. I think uh, I think your mom and I are on the same team. We're going for that scary one at the beginning. Yeah. 
Let's see if we can get some painting done today. One of the one of the warmest places is in the art studio. So it's a good place to come and hang out for a bit. Yeah, I got a decent start on the painting the other day, so I got some of the colors flushed out. I think we'll focus on some of the dark parts. Just kind of have some fun with it and enjoy a little warmth in this room from this amazing heater. Well, after yesterday's scarecrow walk, today was just kind of a mild day. Did a little painting today. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're just kind of taking a walk down the streets of the local area and showing a little warmth from the sunshine that's out today. That would be sunshine. I like sunshine better though. Uh, sunshine, you know? <laughs> I gotta say that I really love the ocean and I do really love, you know, snow and trees and stuff like that. And I was kind of afraid that I wasn't really going to jive with it. I like this. Yeah. I like this one too. Even when I'm not in the bikini? Uh, do I have to answer that? Yeah, I don't know if I want to answer that. I mean, who doesn't want their, you know, beautiful woman in a bikini at all times? Montage. In previous episodes, you may have seen that I did a couple watercolor paintings for a few people that have helped us out and whatnot. A watercolor painting. Wow. Of your book. Oh my God. Little, Holy little crap. Mini painting, so. Wow. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you very much. That's so kind of you. Yeah. Brian's mom's birthday is just around the corner. So I'm gonna do a little watercolor for her for her birthday. But don't tell her. Don't let her know, okay? It's a secret. Our drone has a setting where it will follow a subject. This is an excuse for me to drag Brian along on a walk. Oh, God. <laughs> so we'll see how well uh, it'll follow us. I'm calling it puppy dog mode. <laughs> <laughs> and then we immediately get distracted by a tarantula. <laughs> Just start filming a tarantula with the drone. <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you find it? Oh, cool. Awesome. Yay. Go. I hear it. <laughs> yeah. Should it be higher for if a big truck comes along? Um, yeah, I'll see if I can move it here in just a second. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, awesome. So you still get a little bit of control. Good job, little guy. Wow. Whoa, what are you? Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Brian just decided to pull a crazy Ivan. And it scared me because there's tarantulas and stuff. So I'm freaking out and then the drone is following Brian just causing more chaos. Just let me know the next time you do that. Who's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got no rattlesnake? <laughs> We just flew a drone to see what the puppy thought of it and they barked for two seconds and then they couldn't care less now. <laughs> So one of the reasons we love traveling is to taste so many amazing things. Luckily, we found a place that has a ton of flavor all in one place. So if you like olive oil, balsamic, honey, anything good to put on top of other good stuff, we're gonna go in here.
See something you want to sample? There's not any prickly pear flavored things, so I never no. see it. Yeah, you're gonna give it a try. Prickly pear balsamic. Or balsamic. You're giving a gift from Arizona. Prickly pear is a thing. Maybe, you know. So these are dark balsamic. 80% crushed grape, 20% red wine vinegar. And then the flavoring is just all plant-based extracts. Yeah. I'm trying not to say the F word. That's flipping amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. And all your uh, all your olive oils are 100 percent Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we import them and then we have them lab tested at least three times a year just to make sure they're 100 percent Wow. And there's no other additives being put in there. Is there anyone in particular that you can recommend that might be your favorite right now? Not that it has to be your all-time. My favorite's probably not super relevant because everybody's taste can be different, but I will tell you, hands down every month, this Italian herb is our best seller. <laughs> I feel like this is like Willy Wonka, like a full meal in like a, what was it? Cup. Yeah, in a cup, just. That's really good, just do a little over like a caprese salad or mozzarella. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about an olive oil that you think is kind of way out in left field that, and I ask only because I like odd flavors and I don't mind anything that most people throw at me. So, if you, like if you're into spicy, citrus habanero has got a nice citrus flavor, but then it's got a strong habanero bite. Yeah. Okay. So it's a mango habanero. So you get that sweet mango up front, and it's actually got habanero flakes in it. So you'll get the habanero on the back end. Oh, I'm orange in that. That's pretty. She called earlier because she wants the Very smooth. Ooh, and then it just is it hits. Like hard? Yeah. Man, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> that's so unique. Yeah. I'm trying to think of everything that I could put that on right now. Would you by chance have the espresso one? We do. Let's give that a try. Espresso is really good for the red meat marinade. It's good natural sugar from the grape. And so when you cook it after it marinates in it, it just really lightly caramelizes. Oh, caramelizes, yeah. All right, so this little place is pretty much Frippin' off. Frippin' <laughs> Frippin' awesome. The ingredients are 100% awesome, amazing. All the flavors come from real ingredients, and that really shows through with the condensed flavors in everything that we've tasted. The gentleman that's been helping us. I didn't catch your name, by the way. Terry. Terry. They've really taken a good amount of care to make sure that their products are are on point, you know, from having their stuff tested periodically to make sure that all the olive oils are 100% olive oil, not like the crap that you buy in the store. Uh, and the, the balsamics, man, so complex. But unfortunately, we can't buy all of them. What? <laughs> so, which ones do you think we're gonna get? Uh -oh. Well, we'll uh, we're poor, so we'll get one. Bourbon, maple. Maple bourbon. Okay. Balsam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that one. We will take one of those. A maple bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's my mom's birthday, so I think we'll surprise her with that when they get back from Vegas.